Okay, so in part one, we previously done two sections of layers, one angle at the nape of the head and another angle above that one. So now we need two more sections above those previous two. And this is the third section that we're doing and you want to connect the two angles together and cut at the angle you see here, which is a 45 degree angle and continue to cut the circumference of this upper section at a 45 degree angle. Just as you cut circumference wise to the previous two angled sections below this one. I'm centering the top in two even sections and we are now doing our last angle now cutting the radius of the very top of the head in pie sections and again always make sure to connect your sections together by always seeing where you cut previous as a guide for your length start in the center and as always working your way to either the right and then the left or vice versa whichever you prefer And by the time you get to the center, it should be even. There you go. Since this is, these pieces are short and they won't reach to the bottom, we're just going to bring it off forward like this. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut the bangs and I'm choosing the length between the eyebrow and the, eye, and the eyelid because this is what I feel her length of bangs are and I'm just cutting straight across and I'm going to curve the edges on each side so that they frame the face nicely and you're just going to connect and yay the last cutting step is texturizing the hair and this is a must for her haircut style so make sure that the hair is dry for this step so you can see exactly how the hair will look as you texturize for the bangs I'm using a slicing technique and using my texturizing shears at the ends of the bangs after I do the slicing I want to say that I continued only using the texturizing shears on the entire rest of the hair, angling the texturizing shears at a pointed angle all over the hair. You want to be uniform, so you want to texturize the hair in sections the same amount desired all over and make sure to texturize just the ends of the hair only so that the rest of the hair will be nice and full, just like Lisa Renna's. For the style you need a flat iron and piece by piece in horizontal sections and using a comb before the flat iron, pull the flat iron straight out and bend upwards to the area, right at the area where you texturize the hair and repeat the same way throughout the sides and the back.
Now for the top of the hair, her hair is curved down instead of up, so the opposite way for the top than the rest of the hair. And it adds a little bit of fullness at the top as well. And you want to cover those bald spots, girl. Just kidding. <laughs> and now for the bang area, I simply um, styled the bangs to the right and used a wide tooth comb to help style this area. Or you can use your fingers as well for a similar effect. Either way works great. Now to keep the hair in place, I used a hair paste product to define the hair and texturize creating pieces like I see that Lisa Renna has. Any hair paste product will work great. And then what I did was I finished with a Paul Mitchell's Super Clean Hairspray for a light hold. And this is the finished product. <laughs> and it was a gorgeous day out, so I hope you guys enjoy and keep watching. Thanks for watching. you guys enjoyed this haircut tutorial also I wanted to feature a fan and she actually did a haircut that I posted previously and it came out really gorgeous on her she really lo loves it and sent me this picture so please check out her on um, these pictures of her and if you guys have done any of my hair tutorials please email me to hairstyle magazine at yahoo.com and send me your pictures and I'll feature you in future videos like I did her so I if you want to do her haircut, just check out the video at, after I'm done talking. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a gorgeous day. Bye. Hi everyone, Marguerite here. Today I want to share with you guys how to do a shag haircut, also known as the gypsy cut. 